<laughs> what was that? Was it coming in for a landing? To the whiskey bolt. Oh. I'm Daniel. Rex. Bookers. Bookers! We have to have done Bookers. Before. I like Bay. But, well, remember, this is a cool thing. I think, okay, so there are companies like Barrel Bourbon. By the way, this is from Harry Falkenberg. <laughs> Harry Falkenberg, you magnificent! No, no. No, 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 no. He's patron saint. Patron saint! <laughs> <laughs> Booker's is not getting as much credit as I think they deserve, which is ironic to say about a really famous, well-known brand. <laughs> um, but essentially what's happening is they have started to do what companies like Barrel Bourbon and where they hand-select single releases and special editions and just release with a slight variance in flavor profiles each time. Yeah. You know, so Barrel's winning all these awards. Well, Booker's has started to do this where they're releasing editions of Booker's that are each chosen according to the preferred preferences of one of the people in the company. Okay. And it's always going to be in the char the character of Booker's, but it might be a slight variation. And I think that's a really cool thing to do yeah. for a large brand. I'm getting more of a caramel and vanilla on this nose than I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. This one is for Teresa Whitmer. She worked in the lab in quality control and blended batches of bourbon with Booker No, and then continued to help with his son, Fred No. Oh, right on, so she works in the lab there. Yeah. She does the lab. She's trained in blending. Like, hey, and, hey, yeah. come over here, let's do a little something. Let's do something one that you like. Yeah, all right. Oh, cool. Right That's cool, yeah. Come on, they need more credit for that. Six years, three months, and one day old. 77 corn, 13 rye, 10% malted barley. Mm. Oh, see, I think Booker's is one of the most there's a lot there underrated big brand. So you got the Booker's, the Bakers, the Basil Hayden and the Knob. Basil Hayden and the Knob. Uh, and I think of those, Bakers. Bakers is probably the least recognized. And it was kind of we. I think we liked it. Yeah, way back in the day, I think we did some side by side between those four. Yeah, and I like the Bakers. But I think that Booker's, while really well known and sought after, yeah. is is not getting enough credit for creating interesting variations. Yeah, and there's deep color in that too. Yeah, this is. It's just a good bourbon. And is that cash strength or dan? Yes. Dude, this 62, is 62.95%. You know what this smells like? It smells like the spice section in a Cracker Barrel in the gift shop. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Right? All right. Uh, like you can smell the food being cooked and pancakes But they and have biscuits. all of like the crafty knick knack -y, yeah. like old southern type of tchotchke stuff. Yeah. So you get the wood floors, the baked goods being cooked for breakfast next door, and then all of the the have, clothing shop. Have you tried to do the Cracker Barrel over there in Buda? Yeah. It's nonsense. It's too, it's busy. Like It's really crowded. It's, it's, it's always crowded. It's like the Crowded Barrel. <laughs> See what I did? Uh, <laughs> so, I just led you down that one. How you doing? Here all week. Uh, okay, so I'm add a little water to this because it is no, it's it's 62 point. It is a something. very high proof whiskey, but you're not overwhelmed by the alcohol. The alcohol is it's present and it shows up for real. I need a little more water than that. But it's not kicking your ass so much. Just a little more or a lot more? That's good. The sweetness subsided a little bit and the grain came out. Oh yeah, with a little water that's it's a lot more rounded and rich than that perfumey, heavy handed kind of flavor profile. It does kind of melt those flavors together. Yeah, it's beautiful. Melts them together. The oak shows up very nicely. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go too far with it, too far with the woodiness. By the way, uh, Harry. You got those. Harry sent us this bottle in one of those Chinese puzzle containers. Right. That has like a block, wood blocks on it and then rope and ball and things, and you have to undo the puzzle to get to the bottle. Right. I figured out how to do the puzzle. Yeah. You know how? Yeah. <laughs> Puzzles are hard. <laughs> uh, okay. I think Harry vastly overestimates the amount of time we have to or patience anyway to dick around with the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he thinks more highly of us than we deserve. He, They'll figure yeah. it out. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, man. with a knife. Okay, so this straight out of the Rubicon, man. Well, once I get it 
opened straight out of the Rubicon. <laughs> um, this is like the from sticker. John Wasinski. John Wasinski, you magnificent bastard. Fight. This is Horse Soldier Bourbon. It's named, so it's a company called American Freedom okay. uh, Distillery. I think they were- Ironically from Singapore. Yeah. Started in Florida, if I remember correctly. So what it was, was it was a group of some of the first men to be dropped into Afghanistan on horseback. They just okay. made a movie about them. A part of that group founded this distillery. Now, they did a really cool thing, which was they wanted to create their own whiskey, but while they were building up their own distillery, right. instead of just sourcing, they went to Middle West Spirits. Okay. Right? Which uh, is in Columbus, Ohio. And had Middle West Spirits craft their whiskey for them. Okay. According to what they wanted to create. Yeah. And then they sat on it. So this is two years old. Whoa, two. But it's actually a craft made whiskey, not not a, just a source from like we did from MGP. It and smells a lot more developed than just two years. Right? I'm getting a really nice candied walnut and vanilla. Yeah. I, I agree completely on those things. Yeah. And I really like the walnut note to this. Yeah. Slight kind of waxiness. Uh, Forty three point five percent. I don't often get the candied walnut, but when I do, I enjoy it. Oh, I like that. There's a bitterness to it that's not bad. There's a bitterness to it, like like an like zesty orange. Yeah. So I'm thinking of it like this: when something is pleasantly sour, mm -hmm. like a sour candy, yeah, and you're looking for sour because you want that to be part of the experience, right? This is that kind of sour. There's a it's a barrel grain sourness to it that's not like it's gone off. It's like it's a part of the experience. Yeah, I agree. That's interesting. Uh, fairly low proof at 43.5%, mm -hmm. but it's enough to have some layers in there. It's interesting. This is a lot of very high rye. 30% yeah. rye. I wonder if that's where the, that tang is coming from. I'm going to try a little bit of water in this, even though it's low, just to see what happens. And then uh, some honey and sweet tea. Sweet tea with honey mixed in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this. It's nice. Uh, we got Citri Be True. On my journey of miniatures to explore new whiskey, I tried my first peated. I think I'm a con. Conmara uh, was the photo. But, but the last say, word that you stepped on was, I think I'm a convert. I think I'm a convert to peat. There you go. So uh, here's the thing I forgot about miniatures. Oh, yeah. Like we've never really brought it up. Oh, when we recommend oh! trying out things, right. we always say go to a bar that has a good whiskey selection. It's and so try hard. Things. To, it's so hard to find miniatures with a good selection. It is. So here's the thing. Locally, it specs all the miniatures are things like coconut rum and Jim tequila Beam. and right. Jim Beam, right? So if you can find a local store that has a decent miniature selection of real whiskey expense, and I think us included, more craft distilleries should be focused on miniatures, right? Because it gives people a chance to buy an introduction, especially at Christmas. Right. You know, like stocking stuffers for your kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? That'll be a good Christmas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love that idea. So good on you. Uh, I think if you live in an area where you can get a selection of miniatures, that's a great way to try new whiskey before committing to full bottles. Um, then we got the Dewey Wanamaker. I've got underwear older than that whiskey. Now. I only put that in there because I just love that idea. <laughs> I love the idea that anybody would be confident in responding to somebody else's post right. with, I've got underwear, I've got older, underwear than that. older than that whiskey. <laughs> it's like, okay. And he commented on that on our post of McAllen 18. <laughs> Dude, you have like... It's time to buy new underwear, man. I don't care how clean I'm, you are. I'm imagining just, you know... <laughs> Swiss cheese it's just tatters, tish, just tissue paper, or it's just hanging in like loose flags <laughs> from an elastic band, like there's not even connective pieces anymore. You don't have fun to wear. You have just like a yeah. a tattered you know, hobo kilt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a grass skirt, but made from cotton strips from underwear remnants. Oh god! All right, uh, all right. So the that just uh, made me laugh. The, the 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 horse soldier. Surprisingly, I really enjoy it. The, I didn't. I wasn't sure. The walnut shows up a little less on the taste than it does the nose, but it's still there enough. I like the bottle. Look what they did on the cork. I just wanted you to see oh, this yeah, because no, I'm you've sure. been I'm, wanting to do this I've been for two years. They wanted to do that exact damn thing. How do they do the thing? We're gonna have to call them and find. Call them the hell up. 
Because they did a thing. We want to do it. Ah! Did I knock it over? <sighs> okay, good. I'm going back to the bookers, though. The terror. <laughs> the terror! That welled up. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.